Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session. In today's session, we are going to solve difference equation using Z transform. A difference equation is a mathematical expression that relates the value of a discrete function at different point in time or space. It involves the sequence of values typically represented by y n, where n is integer. Sometimes it may be expressed as y of n also. Recurrence relation. It expresses the value in terms of its previous value. For example, you can see y n is equal to function of y n minus 1. There are two types of difference equation. Linear difference equation, you can see the example all my an, an minus 1, etc., a0 and gn are constant, then it is going to be linear difference equation. Otherwise, it is going to be a non-linear difference equation. It is widely used in computer science engineering for algorithms, codes, biology, etc. Let us take a simple example. Everyone knows the Fibonacci numbers where the relation is Fn is equal to Fn minus 1 plus Fn minus 2 with the starting value F0 equal to 0 and F1 equal to 1. Now, let us go into the problem solving point of view, solving difference equation using Z transform. Here we are going to consider y of n is my basic unit, z of y of n is f of z, then z of y n plus 1 is going to be z into f of z and we need one initial condition y of 0 into z. Now, z of y n plus 2 is going to be very easy. It needs two conditions. There is two initial conditions. So, now multiply this by z. We will be getting small z square f of z minus z square y naught and subtract with z into y1. And similarly, z of y n plus 3. Now, you would have guessed just multiply by z in the previous formula z cube f of z minus z cube y naught minus z square y1 and subtract z into y of 2. Hope you understand. You can see the typed version. So, we are going to apply z transform on the difference equation and then inverse find the solution for the difference equation. Let us go into the problem. Now, it is very important in exams, they give u n, u of n, y n, y of n, z of n, omega of n, etc, etc in various notations. We are going to follow the standard notation y of n. If u naught is given, how can I convert this? I can write it as y of 0. u1 means y of 1. Hope you understand. Now, let us write the given difference equation and write in our format. Let us write in our format y of n plus 2 minus 5 times y of n plus 1 plus 6 times y of n is equal to 4 power n with the conditions y naught is equal to 0, y of 1 is equal to 1. Once you rewrite the problem in our format, write the formulas. Here, we need z of y n, z of y n plus 1 and z of y n plus 2. Let us write the formula one by one. This is the very important assumption. Z of y n is f of z. Then z of y n plus 1 is z into f of z minus z into y of 0. Similarly, z of y n plus 2 is z square f of z minus z square y naught minus z into y of 1. Now, let us take this equation as 1. Applying z transform on both sides, we will be getting the new data. Now, we know the formula. Just we have to write it z square capital F of z minus z square y of 0 minus z into y of 1 minus 5 times z into f of z minus z into y naught then plus 6 times z of y n is simply capital F of z and we know that z of a power n is going to be z by z minus a. So, we are getting now z by z minus 4. Now, the condition is given to us y of 0 is 0, y of 1 is 1. Now, y of 0 is 0, this term is going to be 0 and this is going to be 0 and this is equal to 1. Now, substituting and simplifying, we need to isolate capital F of z alone. So, first let us take this terms z square f of z minus phi z f of z plus 6 f of z. So, z square minus phi z plus 6 f of z. Since these terms are 0, only y of 1 exists. This is nothing but z into 1 that is equal to z by z minus 4. 
Now simplifying this, we'll be getting Z minus 2, Z minus 3. Taking LCM on the right hand side and we'll be getting Z square minus 3 Z. And we take Z outside, we'll be getting Z into Z minus 3 divided by Z minus 4. As I said, I want capital F of Z. Push the all the other things to the other side. Now Z minus 3, Z minus 3 get cancelled. I'll be getting Z by Z minus 2 into Z minus 4. If you are going to solve by partial fraction method, I need to always reserve one Z. Otherwise, I cannot apply inverse. Therefore, whatever the problem comes, reserve one Z from the numerator and move to the denominator of F of Z like this. So now, F of Z is equal to 1 by z minus 2 into z minus 4. I am going to apply partial fraction. See the highest denominator power. It is going to be 2 because here we have z into z and the numerator power is going to be 0. So, I can apply partial fraction because the rule is highest denominator power should be greater than highest numerator power. Now, I can split this fraction as a by z minus 2 plus b by z minus 4. I am just reserving z here. Now, taking LCM, we will be getting a into z minus 2 plus b into z minus 4. Both sides denominator get cancelled, we will be getting 1. Now, I want to find the values of a and b. It is very easy. If you put z equal to 4, a term will become 0. So, b into 4 minus 2 is equal to 1. Therefore, b equal to 1 by 2. Now, when you put z equal to 2, then b into 0, b term will get eliminated. We have 2 minus 4 is equal to 1. Therefore, a equal to minus 1 by 2. We found both a and b. Next, now substitute the value of a and b in a legible way, right? Like f of z by z is going to be a value is minus 1 by 2, 1 by z minus 2 plus 1 by 2, 1 by z minus 4. We know that all our z transform formulas numerator as an z. That's why we reserve this z in the denominator. So, now taking the z to the other side, we will be getting capital F of z is minus 1 by 2 z by z minus 2 plus 1 by 2 z by z minus 4. From the formula of z transform of the difference equation, we know that z of y of n is capital F of z. I said y of n is my solution. So, if you apply z inverse on both sides, we will be getting y of n is equal to z inverse of f of z. Therefore, applying z inverse on both sides of this equation will give the final solution. So, now we know z inverse of z by z minus a is a power n. So, z by z minus 2 is going to be 2 power n. z inverse of z by z minus 4 is 4 power n. Therefore, my answer is minus 1 by 2 2 power n plus 1 by 2 4 power n. If you take this 1 by 2 commonly out, we will be getting 4 power n minus 2 power n. This is my final answer. Next, we go for a different problem where both initial conditions are 0. First, let us write in our proper format and then write the z transform formula z of y n, z of y n plus 1 and z of y n plus 2. Now, take this as equation 1. Apply z transform on both sides of the equation. Now, substituting the value of z of y n plus 2, y n plus 1, y n etc. We will be getting like this. And the right hand side is z of 2 power n and the right hand side is z of 2 power n. We know that z of 2 power n is going to be z by z minus 2. Since all my initial conditions are 0, everything is going to be 0. We will be getting z square plus 6z plus 9 into capital F of z is z by z minus 2. Now, keep F of z on left hand side. Push all the things to the right hand side. As I said, if you want to do by partial fraction, if you want to solve the problem by partial fraction, then we have to reserve this z to the denominator of F of z. So, F of z by z is going to be 1 by z minus 2 into z square plus 6z plus 9. Now, 
we know that z square plus 6z plus 9 is nothing but z plus 3 whole square. Therefore, next we have to do partial fraction. Since my highest denominator power is going to be 3 and highest numerator power is going to be 0. So, highest denominator power is greater than highest numerator power. I can apply partial fraction. And we know how to apply partial fraction. z minus 2 z plus 3 whole square. For z minus 2 it is unique. So, I am writing a by z minus 2. For z plus 3 whole square I am writing b by z plus 3 plus c by z plus 3 whole square. Now, just take the LCM and don't write the denominator like your school days. Just write the numerator alone. Denominator automatically get cancelled. So, a into z plus 3 whole square because it has only z minus 2 term b into z minus 2 z plus 3 c into z minus 2 alone next we have to find the values of a b c as i said we have to substitute some z value such that it makes any one of the term at least zero now put z equal to minus 3 when you substitute z equal to minus 3 this term will get zero this term will get zero i will be getting c directly so minus 3 minus 2 is going to be minus 5 therefore c equal to minus 1 by 5. Next, we have to put z equal to 2. When you put z equal to 2, this both terms will get 0. So, we will be getting a into 2 plus 3 whole square is 1. So, a equal to 1 by 25. Next, don't go for a random value or don't go for 0 because if you put the 0 or random value, you will be getting equation in terms of a, b, c. So, simplification takes little time. So, in this situation, we use our handy tool. Just compare the coefficients of either the highest power or the constant. Highest power is the wise decision here. So, coefficient of z square. The highest power is z square. So, the coefficient of z square is going to be a in this term. Similarly, coefficient of highest term is z into z square into b. Here it is going to be b. And for the third term, there is no z square. So, it is going to be 0. And right hand side is also there is no z square term. That is also 0. We know a already. So, b equal to minus 1 by 25. Immediately, we found all the three values a, b and c. Now, it's our job is to substitute this a, b, c in a legible way like this. Next, we have to push the z to the numerator to apply z inverse. We know that z inverse of z by z minus a is a power n. Therefore, answer for this is going to be 2 power n. On the other side, we know the formula z inverse of z by z plus a is going to be minus a whole power n. Therefore, the answer for the second term is minus 3 whole power n. Now, I can write the answer directly for the first two terms. But for the third term, I don't know the formula. Now, just recall the z inverse formula. z inverse of a z divided by z minus a whole square is going to be n into a power n. But here, we have plus term. So, I can rewrite the formula z inverse of z plus a whole square is going to be minus a into z that is equal to n into minus a whole power n. So, for this problem, I need this minus 3 in the numerator. Minus 1 by 5, I multiply and divide by minus 3. You will be getting z inverse of minus 3 into z divided by z plus 3 whole square. Now, I can apply this formula directly and I will be getting the answer as n into minus 3 whole power n because just now I said z inverse of minus a z divided by z plus a whole square is n into minus a whole power n. This is my solution. And we know that z inverse of f of z is nothing but y of n. That is my answer. Hope you understand. We see some more problems on the next session. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.